In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 13 SEO tools that my team uses to rank websites in Google. And we'll get into how I use each of them one by one. My name is Matt Diggity and I'm the founder of Diggity Marketing, LeadSpring, The Search Initiative, Authority Builders, The Affiliate Lab, and the Chiang Mai SEO Conference. I make a full-time living from SEO and manage over 100 websites between my agencies. And there's no way possible I'd be able to pull it off without the SEO tools I'm about to mention in this video. In fact, if these tools stopped existing, I'd quit SEO and go put in my application at Subway Sandwiches. Their tuna sandwich is life-changing, by the way. Comment below if you feel me. Now, I'm using these SEO tools for everything, from niche research to content optimization to link building and even conversion rate optimization. I'd be lost without them. So let's get to it and start talking about these 13 top SEO tools. But before I do that, would you please attack that like button? In the event that all these SEO tools go away, I don't really want to work at Subway, but if you attack that like button, at least I have YouTube as a backup plan. Thanks for getting my back. Now these tools are in order of how much we use them, starting with Surfer. Surfer is a data-driven content tool that uses correlational analysis to help you write SEO-optimized content. If that sounds confusing, think of it like this. If you're trying to rank for a keyword like best WordPress hosting, then the answer to getting on page one is already found on page one. Surfer is able to look at the top competitors for a given keyword and extract out the words, frequencies, topics, and entities that got these guys to page one in the first place. Surfer does a lot of stuff and has a ton of different features, but the feature we use the most is the content editor. This is a tool you can use to create a data-driven content brief to hand over to your writers. It looks at the top people ranking for the keyword you want to write for and figures out things like word length and natural language processing entity frequency to tell your writers exactly how they need to write. You know how bowling alleys have bumper lanes for kids, so no matter what they do, they're gonna hit the pins? It does that for your writers. My businesses on average publish about 20 pieces of content per day, and that would be totally impossible to do without the content editor. The next feature we use is Surfer's SERP Analyzer. It's similar to the content editor in that it analyzes the top rankers in a niche, but you use it to audit your existing content and see how you can improve it. So if you see a ranking decrease, you use it to help debug why the ranking drop happened so you can fix it. In this video on my channel, I show how I use Surfer to recover a page that dropped from number one to number two for the term SEO coaching. My next favorite tool is the almighty Ahrefs. Ahrefs is hands down excellent when it comes to competitor analysis. Plug in your competitor into Site Explorer, head over to organic keywords, and you've got yourself a solid keyword research process. It has more competitor-based keyword research features as well, like content gap analysis, which will look at which keywords your competition ranks for that you don't. You can also look at your competitor's backlinks to get ideas on what kind of links you can and should build in your niche. Content Explorer is another feature to get easy to rank for content ideas. Set some filters like this, less than 5RD, 200 traffic or more, keywords and title. Then run a report and it'll dump out a bunch of existing content that gets decent traffic and has nearly no links. Atrus Site Audit has also come a long way since it was first introduced. It's going to identify the most technical SEO issues on your site and deliver them in a nice interface to help you debug along with the explanations of the issues and how they should be fixed. After Ahrefs, our next most used tool is Hunter.io. We send tens of thousands of emails per day in our link building outreach efforts. Hunter helps make that happen. Thank you, Hunter, for helping us spam the internet. Once you've created a list of websites that you'd like a link from via your link prospecting, use Hunter to track down what the email addresses are for that site so you can reach out to them. And in 2019, I believe, Hunter released their own email outreach platform so you can send the outreach emails from within Hunter as well at no additional cost. The tool is pretty good too. It's not as good as Pitchbox for example, but it's definitely good enough for us to adopt it. After that, we have a free tool that you're probably already familiar with, and that's Google Search Console. Google Search Console is available to anyone that wants to sign up with them, which I definitely recommend. It's really good at helping you identify coverage issues like indexing problems, redirect issues, or 404 errors. Google Search Console is also the place you want to go if you want to get a page indexed or re-indexed and re-crawled. If you have toxic links pointing to your site, you get them disavowed in the disavow tool. And to debug Core Web Vitals, they have a nice interface as well that's going to surface all your LCP, FID, and CLS issues. The next tool, which we look at at least a few times per week, is our rank tracker, AccuRanker. AccuRanker is a rank tracker, which is basically a tool you use to monitor keyword rankings over time, so you don't have to check them manually. It's got all the typical features you'd see in a rank tracker, like being able to see ranking improvements on given keywords over time. But I'm all about its share of voice feature. What share of voice does is attempts to measure the impact that losing or gaining keyword rankings has on your site. If you have keywords ranking high, then people might actually click them, so those matter more. High search volume keywords matter more than that too. 
So over time, you can see if your rankings are actually benefiting your site and your traffic. Keyword rankings go up and down all the time, but you should really only care about the keywords that might be getting you traffic. It's a nice sanity saver. Now this brings us to another free tool and that's analytics. And we use that for tracking our traffic and our conversions. Now I'll be the first to tell you that looking at your traffic or your rankings for that matter on a daily basis is severely bad for your mental health. But if you're gonna be looking at traffic, analytics is the place to do it for a deep dive. But one thing I hope everyone is setting up in analytics is goals. Depending on your site, you need to track its goals, whether that be sales, email conversions, or affiliate link clicks. You wanna make sure that over time, not only is your traffic increasing, but your actual key performance indicators or KPIs are as well. The next must have tool I'm gonna to recommend is Grammarly. Grammarly is a content writing tool that will on the fly check your content for grammar and spelling issues. All of our writers write in Google Docs with the Surfer add-on installed. And as they're writing along, the Grammarly browser extension makes sure they don't utterly butcher the grammar of the content or create spelling mistakes. And I'll be the first to tell you that when it's getting close to the end of the day, the chance of me writing a grammar mistake free sentence is approximately 0.0. .0. So it saved me countless times. The next tool isn't necessarily an SEO tool, but a conversion rate optimization or CRO tool, and that's VWO. I use VWO as my primary conversion rate optimization tool because it's easy to use, relatively affordable, and well, I'm just used to it. What it specializes in is A-B testing. Let's say you wanted to test and see if having a blue button color is more effective than having a red button color. An A-B testing tool will split the visitors of your site between the two variants and let you know which one converts more over time. By the way, if that stuff interests you, check out my video on call to action mastery. I've left a link to it in the description. In this split test, we created an ebook lead magnet for one of our websites and we were playing around with different titles and how that would affect conversion. Now, in case you aren't familiar with the way I do SEO, I'm really big on testing. That is actually running controlled experiments on ranking websites to see if ranking techniques work. At any given time, I'm running over a dozen tests and I conclude over a hundred per year. If you wanna check out some of these tests, in the video description, I've left a link to my mini course straight from the lab, which gives the test results of a bunch of my never before released findings. Back to SEO tools, I found this tool called SEO testing that makes testing a hell of a lot easier. This tool interfaces with Google Search Console so you get actual impression and click data in order to tell you if your experiments are working or not. They also organize everything in a super neat way. Before this tool, we were using sheets and rank trackers and it was just messy AF. Now the next tool isn't a direct SEO tool but ends up yielding a lot of SEO benefits and that's Aweber, the email marketing tool. It's different than an email outreach tool like Hunter in the fact that it's for managing a list of subscribers and communicating with them. Now there's many email marketing tools on the market, but for me, I'm most often using email marketing for affiliate sites and Aweber has a perfect level of price, ease of use, and customer support in order to make them my choice for content websites. I really feel like marketers don't fully understand the power of email marketing and how it contributes to both SEO and monetization. First, you got your autoresponder. When a visitor subscribes, they go into an automated follow-up series which not only builds a relationship, but hopefully you're using those emails to get people back to your website. And that means more search engine independent traffic. And then once you have that list, anytime you publish new content, you announce it to your list and guess what? You get more traffic back to your website. And trust me, traffic and user engagement signals are a huge ranking factor. Then we have promos. Black Friday coming up, email your list and make it a six figure month instead of a five figure month. Lastly, launches. Want to add an info product to your affiliate site or launch your own physical product? Launch it via your list for a huge head start. Next on the list, we have Keyword Cupid. Keyword Cupid is a clustering tool that uses machine learning Learning and Google's actual search results to determine how you should group keywords together, or namely what keywords to write on the same page. For example, would you want to be writing about a keyword like what is a router on the same page as you're writing about best wireless router? It's confusing to readers and to Google. How do they figure it out? They look at what pages are ranking for a set of keywords, and if there's enough overlap, then they belong on the same page. Next, we have Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is a crawler. It's a tool that's used to crawl your website from link to link, and it'll pull up a ton of stats on each page, like load time, response codes, 404 errors, missing title tags, meta descriptions, redirection problems, etc. But that's not what we use it for. As mentioned before, we like Ahrefs for our technical site audits, as it just got a better debug and GUI-based feel. It's also cloud-based. But for some tasks, you just can't deny the usefulness of a crawler like Screaming Frog. For example, it'll let you know the crawl depth of every page on your site. Ahrefs will only let you know if pages are completely orphaned. Or let's say you're linking out to a manufacturer who closed their affiliate program. 
A quick crawl will let you know which pages have this link so you can change it. The next tool is a must have if you're doing affiliate marketing on the Amazon Associates platform, and that's AMZ Watcher. What AMZ Watcher does is scans and audits all the Amazon affiliate links on your site. If you're sending traffic to a product page that's out of stock, it's gonna let you know. If you have a link to Amazon and you forgot your affiliate tag, it's gonna let you know. It's also gonna let you know if there's any non-Amazon alternatives to send traffic to that might have a higher commission. This tool is super handy and we end up running it once a month just to make sure we're not bleeding off any money. You can use coupon code AffiliateLab20 for 20% off at checkout. And make sure to subscribe for more SEO videos just like these.